Good morning everyone from Astargon. This is the beautiful basilica. Today is going to be a climbing day because I will try to get up to the Dobogoku which is 700 meters. Now I just checked and we are starting from basically zero. So it will be a fun day although just 50 kilometers to cover and today I will arrive. I had quite a relaxing day with a lot of rain in Astergom so I think it was a good decision to stop. Yeah, see you in a bit. Could run with you. Hey, we are on the road again and what happened so far is that I got some tips from a really nice local guy in Estergum that I shouldn't go straight to Dobogoku because that road is really full of traffic and he said that I should follow the Eurobello till Pilish yeah but he, here we are right now here comes the climbing and this will be tough they, they warned me that this will be tough. So from now we have like 700 meters in elevation, 10 kilometers in distance. So you can imagine, but I will show you how I suffer along the way. I, I don't know yet what to expect, but we'll see. See in a bit. Actually, this is one of my favorite parts in Hungary. I really like the nature around here. It's not far from Budapest. I will try to show you some drone footage as well. We have small streams on the left, we have trees, we have trees everywhere and we have surprisingly good roads. We'll see what happens at the top. And from what I have heard you do the same thing too. I wanna say forever we could be good together. Guess misery loves As I promised during the planning phase, you can see some sweat on me. But actually I think the progress is not bad. We almost climbed half the elevation, I think, because I have nothing on my phone which would give me the elevation data. We still have something to cover if you look there, I mean there. You can see that there are pretty much only higher hills. And sorry for interrupting but this is future Akush here. I didn't know that back then but my camera was so broken that my microphone was barely functioning so I needed to fix the audio like I give you an example here. Yeah so I did everything to make it right but sometimes I needed to do voiceovers so whenever my voice is not synchronized to what I'm saying I this is me I'm trying to come up with something smart so back to the storyline. As you can see the weather is brilliant and look at the bike I mean he's doing just fine so I would say see you somewhere further. Better to lay them so we are just about to join the main road that's a sign that we are not far because that's a uh, i think the last hairpin before the Bogoku. so i estimate our elevation for around 500 something ish meters so we <laughs> still have around 200 to cover but but i'm uh, really optimistic that it's not far it's not far anymore we just need the last several pushes yeah so meet you up top why don't you I have a bit less than three kilometers left I'm already at Pest County which is my final destination so seems good the elevation is like oh, okay actually it's not that bad but we have really high humidity, I feel. I don't know if my hair is curly already. But it's not that bad, it's fun. It is fun. Maybe it doesn't look fun right now. But I can tell you that it is fun. Fun indeed. Okay, I will stop recording and focus on the road.
actually it was not that bad than I thought. So we are right now on Dobogoku, as you can see. The weather is really good and right now I think I will search for some food and the past Akush doesn't know but I will meet with someone in the really near future. I found a really really cool guy with a motorcycle. I like those people who are really cool and having the same amount of wheels as I do. He said that there is a place which is open. The owner is a really nice guy and cheap prices and there's the ski slope. So yeah, I will check it. See you at Jindesh. One hour later. Well, it was really, really nice. I had a beef stew. And uh, now I know why this place is called the Jindesh. Just look at the form. And by the way, I just realized that this is the ski lift as well. You can see these blue pieces. These are parts of the ski lift. And in that building, there's a ski lift. And the ski lift goes down, of course, on the hill. It looks old school, by the way, but okay. We can finally go to Budapest. We have 40 kilometers to cover. I mean, <laughs> I didn't know that. I thought it's like 20, but it's 40 kilometers. So we should better go. Everywhere we go, really an interesting feeling because after 2000 kilometers and 18 days finally arriving from London and people think that it's some big achievement or such I supposed to be really happy that I'm arriving but uh, after I approached Budapest somehow I feel utter sadness all of a sudden I don't really know the cause I'm still like trying to understand but I don't think that it was any any sort of an achievement. Although, yeah, I gained a lot from it. A lot of good or bad memories. All of your memories which you can make are great. If you can make a day memorable, that's great. So it, it was a great adventure and yeah, what, what is interesting is that I thought that at the end I can say that I would have done this differently, but not really. At least given that I had like two, two weeks to prepare everything, I think I've done a really good job. But nonetheless, uh, it was a really great test for a bigger project, if I can handle it or if I can enjoy it, because handling is totally different. If you don't enjoy it, you shouldn't do it. But if you enjoy it, then yeah, that's something. And I enjoyed it, I enjoyed it too much. So we can now know for a fact like three things the flight is cheaper the flight is quicker you see a lot less with the flight yeah so i think soon we should leave and get to hero square see you on hero square